So uh, I'm Grant McLaughlin. I work with Talk Net, which is an initiative of Perth North Church. Uh, Perth North Church's building is in the centre of Perth and its parish is about three miles away. It is a community which is diverse, so we have some of the uh, poorest parts of Perth in it and we have some of the more affluent parts of it. Um, our aim is uh, to see the kingdom of God realised on the streets of Tullach. And in particular, we have a focus on social isolation and loneliness. And that's something which impacts on people, whether they're young or old, uh, whether they're affluent or poor, uh, whether they're single or whether they're in relationships. That is a reality. We have a number of different ways in which we work. Um, we have a weekly lunch, a daily drop-in, a listening service. We are delivering mental and emotional health workshops. Uh, we have family activity cafes, um, we have community singing groups, we have a men's matter group, and uh, we have just started a monthly Sunday gathering. I don't want to spend too much time talking about those. I do want to highlight two things, though, which are important to us. Participation and patience. Tullochnet is a community of participants. There are no volunteers. There are no clients, there are no service users. We are all recipients. We are also all participants. We believe that God has given everyone a gift, a talent, an ability. One of those examples would be Rosie. Rosie was the second person to come into the community hub, a single mum, a recent single mum with two children. And slowly, Rosie got involved and she participated in many different ways. And eventually, to the point where I went off on holiday for two weeks and she was left with the keys. On return, I had a message. Hi, Grant. Just to let you know, I broke the food rules. The food rules are only tea and toast. However, Rosie had decided to have a community lunch where everybody who was involved could come along with something and contribute. I returned back to Open Revolt as all of the participants wanted to have a weekly community lunch. We decided to hold it just monthly. However, um, from Rosie's participation, she gave birth to a community lunch that is now has 36 to 46 people involved. If they'd been waiting for a community lunch from me, they'd still be waiting. Second thing I want to say is patience. We are involved with community development work, so it is slow work. At the moment, we have 44 adults and 19 children who are connected with the community hub and about 30 others who are involved in other activities. I remember a day three years ago when four was a busy day. One example of the need for patience is a lady called Jade. I met Jade every morning. She would walk down to college, I would be walking up to work, and I had intentionally decided that on the walk to work, I would say good morning to whoever passed my way. I said good morning to Jade. She looked at me as if I was a weirdo. <laughs> then she uh, stopped and we chatted with her little one, and then slowly but surely, the relationship developed until a year ago she walked into the hub. It took two years of good mornings, two years of saying hello. And so what I would like to say is that patience is something that is important in the work of Tullochnet. We have only started doing our Sunday gatherings after three years of working within the community. What happens when a community cares? One of our local participants' washing machine broke. Two of my participants, one a mother with four children, one a mother with three, messaged me privately and said, can we contribute? One gave £100, one gave £50, so that someone could have a washing machine. That's the benefit of Go For It, so thank you.